Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunder Mist Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunder Mist Fishing Tips. We find ourselves today fishing the mighty Niagara River. It's uh, middle of March, it's the crack of dawn right now, a little brisk this morning, but we're in for a beautiful day and our target today is rainbow trout, steelhead, and brown trout. And the setup we're going to use, I'm going to start out this way anyhow. It's a simple setup. We're using this uh, three-way swivel. Actually, it's the new uh, T-turn swivel by Thundermist Lure Company. Um, and it's actually more of a, uh, it's a three-way swivel, but it's more of a cross-line swivel, technically. And you can see there I have a sinker about a foot below the swivel. And then I have about uh, three feet of line, let's say, to this uh, streamer fly. And the streamer fly here has a little, uh, little float to it as well. And what this is going to do is this sinker is going to bounce along the bottom and that's, this T-turn is going to allow that streamer fly to have complete mobility out there. And it's going to just bounce around and float around out there. And we're going to hope for a nice trout to pick it up and start swimming away. So stay tuned. You know, we're kind of fortunate here with this Niagara River. It doesn't freeze up. The current's so strong in winter that it actually doesn't freeze up and allows you to fish all year round. And all I'm doing, as I said, is I'm just bouncing that sinker along the bottom and just letting it, letting that streamer fly work its way along and hope that a trout's going to pick it up. The, uh, the birds are flying this morning. A lot of seagulls out today and uh, they're diving and that means there's a lot of bait fish in the water. So that might be a good sign for today. The sun is just about ready to come up. It's a great time to be out here. It's nice and quiet, although I imagine there'll be a lot of boats out here today, as well as a lot of people. Uh, and it's nice to see people coming out in the spring. You can see here with that T-turn, uh, absolutely no line twist at all. Everything stays free and allows me to fish, uh, fish quite nicely. There we go, we got our first fun of the day. The sun just, just came up over the horizon. Perfect timing there. Sun just come up over the trees, and we got our first hit. And I see there's a guy fishing beside me here. He's also got one on as well. How's that for a double header? Well, that was exciting. Just a really nice hit. Phil, you want to come and land this for me? Sure. We're going to have to work them into the rocks here. Doesn't feel like a big one. We took a bit of a run earlier. I was just bouncing that streamer fly, just bouncing along in the current, nice and easy there. Better lighten up in the drag. There he is. Oh, that's a nice throw. There he goes. He's taking a run. He's taking a run. <laughs> oh, this is great. Here he comes, here he comes. Beautiful. Very nice. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Let's take him out. Gently. Ah, spear flies right inside his mouth. Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that nice? Oh, what a great start to the day. Nice. Nice little rainbow. We're going to let this guy go. But you can sure get a lot bigger fish out here. Okay. Nice rainbow. Take his way back out. There he goes. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Boy, that water is bitter, bitter cold. Um, most of the lakes and rivers are frozen around here right now and uh, the water is just bitter, bitter cold, but it's perfect for these rainbows and uh, that was certainly a nice start to the day and we're going to hope for some more, eh Phil? Maybe sure. get into a brown trout today? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? That sun, it just, just as it come over that tree line, that fish hit. Lots of fun. Okay, let's just take a quick look at today's setup. I've got a few different rigs I'm going to be using today, but I'm going to open up with a streamer fly. And if you notice how I'm set up here, I have a three-way swivel. Actually, this is the uh, Thunder Mist, uh, what we call the T-Turn. Uh, it's part of the Perfect Series. And uh, it's actually more of a cross-line swivel. And I have about a foot of line off to a streamer and a foot of line to the sinker. Actually, just a little bit 
less line to the streamer than I do to the sinker. And the reason for that is I don't want to get hung up. But you can see here with this T-turn, it swivels right around without any problem. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cast my line out there and I'm going to bounce my sinker along the bottom, um, along the bottom of this current, bounce it over the rocks, and this streamer fly should just be floating around in the current there and hopefully there'll be a trout in the neighborhood that'll pick it up. Another thing you could do in using these streamer flies is if you have some scent, spray it up with a little bit of scent. And what will happen is that bucktail will absorb that scent and it will give off a little bit of a scent trail as you're bouncing that streamer fly along the bottom. And sometimes that little bit of extra scent is just enough to give you an edge and trigger a fish to bite. So I need, I need to get that line back out there. The other thing I like about that floor carbon leader is it's a little more abrasion resistant. So as I'm bouncing along the bottom here with these rocks, that's going to uh, be a little more nick free than say regular monofilament. And you know when you're fishing these large river systems, unlike when you're fishing a little stream or a or a creek, uh, where you're constantly walking along the uh, along the stream looking for the trout, when you're fishing these larger river systems. All you have to do is stay in one spot. Those trout are always on the move and uh, they'll come to you in this case rather than you going to them. Oh, there's a jump. Now you gotta keep away from those rocks, eh, Phil? Wow. Oh, what do you got? What the, is, is it even a trout? Is it a perp? I don't know. I don't like know I said, you, you can catch anything out of this river. <laughs> I don't know what you got. I don't really care what it is. Holy mackerel. It's going to be a good fight. I wish I could. There he is there. Just a carp? Oh, oh, no, oh, it's, it's, a, a, oh it's a nice yeah, rainbow. It's all yours, Eve. Oh, yes! <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Wow, look at the, oh, just hooked inside the lip there. Phil, that's a dandy. <laughs> look at that fish. What a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Hey, he gave you a nice bite, eh? That was dynamite. Wow. <laughs> beautiful colors on him, eh? Absolutely gorgeous. Square tail. They're a, they're a beautiful, beautiful fish. Nice and cold, coming out of that cold water. <laughs> okay, I'll let him go. Look at that fish. Isn't that nice, Phil? Beautiful. Wow. Look at that. The silver torpedo. <laughs> silver torpedo for sure. You know, obviously there's fish throughout this whole river system, but we should mention to the folks today what we did this morning when we were coming along to find this particular spot there's shallower shelves here and then there's there's more of a drop off. There's, there's areas where it drops right off in the deeper water. And that's where we're fishing today, is we found the spot that basically, um, I'm gonna say it looks, it, it looks like it drops down to about, I don't know, maybe about 15, 20 feet. They can see the water's different color. And uh, we've got the current coming along quite nicely here. Looks like the absolute perfect spot for uh, for trout to be holding. And you know, Phil, at the end of the day, that one little difference, where we're fishing on the shoreline, can make the difference between catching fish and just plain fishing. Boy, this sure is a nice morning, eh, Phil? Dynamite. Sun's just coming up. And you know, we were just talking a minute ago about these streamer flies, and those little flotations on the end of that streamer fly is just enough to keep that fly bouncing off the rocks close to the bottom right where those trout are sitting, waiting, looking to ambush their, uh, their next meal. But, uh, you know, it really is a nice morning. And we were talking about those T-turn swivels. Like, we really, I really am excited about them. 
I mean, look at this virtually tangle free here. These things come in nicely. And we were talking a little earlier, Phil. This setup would be ideal for fishing for walleye. Uh, you know, we could put a bottom bouncer off of that teeth turn swivel. Exactly. And then slowly troll for walleye. Uh, or how about for fluke? Drifting for fluke when we go saltwater fishing. What a fantastic That's way to fish. It's just basically tangle free. Tangle free for sure. Not frustrating at all to use the No, it's great. Oh, that's a nice fish. What I did was, things were getting slow with those streamer flies. So I changed up, I changed rods. Oh, he's making another run. I changed rods and I went with a, a row bag. Same principle, I still just bouncing the row bag on the bottom with that T-turn and a weight. And I've got myself a nice steelhead here right now. Nice rainbow. What do you think, Phil? That's a nice one, yep. Yeah. You land them by hand? Well, the that's over see. there. <laughs> that's okay, just land them by hand. Should be a challenge. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. Beautiful fish. Well, let's see if I can bring them in here. Oh, it's a dandy. Yeah, you can get them by the tail there. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> oh, nice. There we go. You know, sometimes you have to do that, folks. Change the strategy up a bit. Streamer flies were working fine, and now we've gone to row bags, and it's uh, triggered a bite. Actually, hey, he came out quite nicely. It was just kind of just on the inside of his mouth there, that hook, eh? That's good. So we're gonna get him back in. That's a nice, beautiful fish. Let's get him released. Ah. There he goes. Very nice. Oh, that was great. I love it. So let me show you what I've done here, folks. Like I said, I've just taken the streamer fly off and I put this uh, row bag on and all this row bag is is uh, a bunch of trout eggs tied together in a sack. And I've still left a little float on there because as I'm bouncing that row bag along the bottom, I want to make sure that it's, it's a little buoyant and that it stays on top of those rocks as I'm working my way through. But otherwise, it's the exact same setup that I've had for the streamer fly. I've got my T-turn swivel here and I have about, uh, oh, about a foot of line to my sinker and same process, just bouncing along the bottom. So uh, a little subtle change turned out to be uh, a nice rainbow for me. Another thing, folks, to keep in mind when you're bouncing these streamer flies along the bottom is that periodically they may pick up a little bit of debris. And what you want to do is you want to make sure even the slightest little bit of weed that you take it off that hook, you want that streamer fly to be presented as perfectly naturally as possible. Otherwise, those trout will be a little bit spooked and they, they uh, may not hit. The other thing I like to look for in a streamer fly, two other things. A streamer fly that has large eyes on it. Uh, the large eyes make for a real nice attractant and um, will help you get more bites when it comes to trout. And the other thing is, I always look for a quality hook in a streamer fly. You get a nice steel head on there, and if you have a, um, a thin wire hook or a cheaper hook, uh, they'll bend that hook back uh, and they'll straighten it out very, very easily. So you always wanna make sure that you've got a real good quality hook when it comes to picking out a streamer fly. Well folks, I'd like to share a very simple recipe with you and it's absolutely delicious when used for grilling fish. Let's take a look. Now with this recipe, there are very simple basic ingredients and it's almost hard to believe that these simple ingredients can produce such great results. So what I have here is I have the juice of one lemon. You can see here I just freshly squoze one lemon and I'm going to add that to my bowl here. And I also have minced up two cloves of garlic and uh, I've minced it up very finely 
and I'm going to take those two cloves of garlic. I'm going to add them here to uh, to the bowl as well. And uh, now all you have to do is add six tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm going to measure out uh, one at a time, and I'm going to add my six tablespoons of olive oil. It happens to be virgin olive oil. And uh, then, quite simply, we're just going to add some salt and a little bit of pepper to taste. Usually about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So we add a little pepper in there, and then quite simply mix all the ingredients together. Mix them all together, let them emulsify in there nicely and, uh, and now you're ready to add them to the grill. Now actually what we're going to do today we're going to actually grill some shrimp but as I mentioned to you this recipe for any fish that you want follow the same recipe, put your fillets on the grill, follow the same process but for today's purposes we're going to grill some shrimp. So what I'm going to do right, simply just brush your, brush your shrimp Give them a good coating of the marinade. And don't worry if things flare up a little bit, that's quite all right. Okay, I think it's time to turn these. And they're looking like they're just perfect. So there we have it, folks. It's really that simple. These are ready for the table, and we're going to enjoy some good eating. So when you get an opportunity, try this recipe out, and bon appetit. He's peeling dry. It's hard to tell if that's a rainbow or a brown. Yeah. The water's a little bit murky. Oh, he's got a lot of life left in him. Okay. Yeah, he's got a lot of life in him. It's a brown. Beautiful. Yeah. That's a big fish in here. Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous nice. fish. Look at that. Nice job, Phil. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Female. Yeah. Very, very nice fish. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Hey. That's great. You know what? I enjoyed landing him. As much as you enjoyed fighting him. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Beautiful nice fish, colors, Bill. Eh? You want, want to have, go? Want me to have the honors? You have the go honors. Ahead. You landed him. I landed him. But you caught him. That's okay. Oh boy, what a gorgeous fish. Beautiful color. Wow, there he goes. Wow, that was really nice. Well, folks, we sure hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I got to tell you, we've had a great time out here today. And uh, thanks very much for tuning in, and until next time, as always, good luck and good fishing.